now it's back to our tooltip where Dean and I show you step by step how to build this DIY phone table out of these materials using everyday hand tools. There's actually a lot of cuts involved in your telephone tables, so we had ours pre-cut. Most hardware stores, or bigger hardware stores, will do that for you for a small fee. First thing we do is put a mark in here using a smaller piece as a template, 16 mil from the end on your base piece. Mark a line using a piece of the pre-cut MDF and pre-drill the holes yeah. in the end of the yep. sheet, ready for assembly. You're right? Yep. Then measure in 300 millimetres yep. from each end and mark a double okay. line and then pre-drill using a 4 millimetre bit. We glue the ends and begin assembly, attaching the tall and short ends of the phone table. The aliphatic glue is ideal for the ends of the NDF and dries quickly. That's the chipboard okay, screws are yeah, self-countersinking in the NDF. Okay. Yep. We'll come back later and fill the holes. Okay. Now it's time to drill, glue and screw the middle shelf into position. There we go. That's great. Now it's beginning to take shape, so we're going to assemble the top and the side so we can line up the uprights. All right, Dan? Yep. I'll just apply a little bit of sticky. Glue to that. You right with that? No worries. Next, we assemble the top upstand. Good. Just line those. Before attaching the top, we place it in position to use as a guide to okay. mark the first of the lower uprights. Then pre-drill and screw into position. We then measure to check that the next upright is centrally located and fix into position. Good. And now glue and fix the upstand by drilling and screwing at 45 degrees. Okay, we're using water-based stain on this. With any stain, you've got to make sure you wipe all the glue off because otherwise it affects the stain. It doesn't colour evenly. Okay, measure up against that. The phone table is almost complete. Holding in place to check the size, we mark and then mitre cut the seat beading using our mitre saw. We pre-nail the beading, which retains the cushion for the seat. You can use a removable cushion Good. or upholster a rectangle of foam on a piece of ply or MDF. We then centre punch the nails, ready for filling. For stability, we add rubber door stops to the base. We're using a water-based stain. I've actually mixed two colours together to get this colour, so I'm going to add a bit of it to our wood filler, and uh, then we fill the holes uh, in the top and sand back, and we're ready to stain it. We use some of the water-based stain to match the colour of the filler. A quick sand, and it's ready for staining. The water-based stain flows on really quickly, and when it's dry, we can apply a finishing coat of tough, two-pack clear gloss. Well, it's come up really well. We've finished it in a two-pack finish, and it's, so it's going to be tough and it's clear, isn't it, Dean? It certainly is going to be. And we've just knocked up this nice little seat cover. It's a bit of foam rubber covered in uh, some yellow fabric, which will slot in there as soon as it dries. It's going to look really good. It'll look great. Okay.